Stone Mountain is about 700 feet tall from the valley up to the top. That's almost as high as two football fields stacked end to end. Stone Mountain is part of a much larger mass of rock that geologists call a pluton. This rock is similar to granite. It's called granodiorite, and we can tell that by the many different minerals that make it up. These include gray quartz, white feldspar, black biotite mica, and there might be another black mineral in here called amphibole. These minerals grew, crystallized, from liquid hot magma deep underground. As the magma cooled, the crystals grew until they formed the rock that we have here today. Now since this rock formed from magma, it's called an igneous rock. But this rock didn't stay deep underground. Weathering and erosion have gradually uncovered it. There's a special kind of weathering here that we call exfoliation or onion skin weathering. That's because of how the rock cracks and breaks off, kind of like how you peel an onion skin off of an onion. And some of these pieces that peel off can be really big. Also, roots and ice can grow into cracks and pop bits of rock off too. Now, once these pieces have broken, gravity, water, and wind all work to move them downhill. And if we look at the bottom of Stone Mountain, we can see all piles of broken rocks. Some of these uh, pieces are kind of small, and some of them are really huge. 